Okay, this is uh, uh, 7 eighths to 1-inch. want to say one inch. Uh, this is for the smaller burner. Uh, this is just a quarter inch T. You can see in there. Let's see if I got a flashlight. Um, the nut welded onto the end of the T with the welding tip in there. This is a 025 tip. Just tack weld uh, the T on there. And then put a an adapter to go to a uh, like quarter inch copper copper line because that way you can run them like like this on your forge pointing towards the side and run the copper off into a manifold. So if you need to take a burner off later on, it's easier to move the copper around than a bunch trying to unthread a bunch of steel pipe. And then this is the bigger version, the one inch brother. This is inch to inch and a half. And then on this one, you're going to want to use an 035 tip or 032, 035. And set up the same way. Um, and the main, main thing you want to look, uh, do is this burner hasn't run, so, but you get the black pipe, and if you can see in there, there's a lip. You want to file that lip down, otherwise it causes an air eddy in there and it causes your fuel not to mix right. And the main thing is, is you need to have a gas tight weld on that nut. And it just uses a quarter inch, quarter inch nut welded on the end. But you want to file that down and then this is like 7 inches or 8 inches, I think it's 7 inches. And you know, two of this is going to be inside the forge. And for lining your forge, uh, the bottom is fire brick and the sides are kale wool. This is a boughten one from NC. This is one I made down here, the extension. You want at least two inches of kale wool with the fire brick bottom. Uh, you can't line it with fire brick because it won't get hot enough for forging. Um, you can see how I manifolded this one in. I wouldn't do, like, do it like this again because you can't get to any of these burners now. It's a real pain in the pain in the butt because it, you know, I welded these in. So I mean, these are permanently on. You can't really mess with them after that. You have to break off all the tacks, and it's a real pain in the butt. So I'd I'd, I'd clock them going this way with a soft copper line with a you know like curly Q in it. But you gotta have the K wall. Fire bricks won't cut it.